everyone. Uh, today we're going to do an exploration. I'm here at uh, the Eckley Miners Village and we're going to go take a walk and explore. Uh, come along with me for the journey. So when you first come into the uh, to the property, to the entrance here at Eckley's, the first place you have is the visitor center. There's also uh, a theater in there where they uh, play a movie for you um, and then also a museum. We're going to go check out the uh, museum uh, in our travels here and we'll see what's inside there. Uh, also off to the right uh, across the street first you have the, uh, the gift shop then there's a church and then there's a, a main road that goes down through the center of the village has a bunch of old uh, mining homes uh, and I believe there's an old uh, breaker and uh, some railroad, uh, an old set of railroad tracks down there. Um, so as we get, you know, walking through all this, I'll kind of uh, get some of the, I'll show you some of the sites here along the way. Alright, so here's the museum part of the building here at the visitor center. A lot of old artifacts and some history about Oakley and the coal and history about the uh, the coal region here northeastern Pennsylvania was uh, in the early days was basically started by the coal industry. Model of a steam locomotive. That'd be a 440 type locomotive based on the wheel configuration and there's a photo of the actual steam engine that that is a model of As we continue on, all kinds of artifacts here, photos.
right, so as we make our way down the main road here, um, as you can see, these are all the old uh, miners' homes that were owned by the mining company here in Elkley. You can see the old uh, sheds and outhouses in the backyards here. Also on this side. There's about four or five families uh, that still live in these houses. Um, I guess apparently the houses that have the mailboxes are the ones that are still occupied by families here. It's really interesting to see how well that they uh, have preserved these homes here. In case I forgot to mention, this is located in uh, Pennsylvania. It's about one hour south of Scranton and it's about three miles outside of Freeland near Hazleton. All right, I'm gonna, I don't have much uh, room on my uh, device here so I'm going to uh, stop recording for now. And then probably once we get back down by the, the breaker here and where the railroad tracks are, um, I'll do a short little segment down there so you get to see that. But I just wanted you to take a, take a look at these homes that are here. All right, everybody hang tight and uh, we'll resume filming shortly. All right, so we made it to the site of the old uh, breaker. Back in 1968, uh, the movie Molly Maguire, Molly Maguire's was filmed here. And this uh, breaker, I guess, is not the original breaker, but uh, a reconstructed or a, um, for the movie. They, they built another one for the movie. Um, here's the old uh, rail line, the old cars, the mine cars. And as you can see, the rails that go here. And they continue on down. And they actually continue across the street and then uh, down out into the woods out there. Uh, you can follow it a little ways along, but then it just gets too, uh, too overgrown to where you can't follow it anymore. There's the old uh, company store next to the rail line. I'm going to have to wrap up my filming uh, here today. Uh, for two reasons. One is I'm just about out of time and I really don't have much room on my device here for uh, for more filming. Um, I do plan to hopefully get up here maybe another day during the summer uh, where I'll have a little bit more time and also a little bit more room to, to be able to film some more footage here. But I do recommend that if you, uh, you get a chance to uh, come out here uh, definitely check it out. Um, it's very interesting, very educational. Uh, a lot of history here. Alright, catch you all later. Thanks for watching.